to us. What kind of image are you presenting online? Is it the you you want? Here it shares some rules to follow in the digital age. We welcome back the author of Your Clothes Speak, image consultant, Carol Parker Walsh. Always good to see you, Carol. You too, you too. So the idea is like something that you would do when you're looking for a job. This is how you want to project yourself. Well, exactly. Whether you are a job seeker, an employer looking for a promotion, an entrepreneur who wants to establish some collaborations or business relationships or connections, your digital image or your visual branding is really crucial. You know, how you show up and the messages that you're communicating through that image right. online. Because there's a lot that's critical. assumed by your picture. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It takes a tenth of a second for someone to make an impression face to face. It takes about a fifth of a second to do it in the digital space. Right. Because people make determinations really quick. And if you think about it, I mean, you've heard stories of people being let go or fired because of what they posted online. Right. So it just shows you that that's the medium that people are using to get to know you, to figure out who you are, what you're about, right. and whether or not they want to really engage in some type of business um, relationship with you. That makes a lot of sense. So yeah. first, one of your first tips is when you're taking the picture, check your background. Yes, exactly. So, you know, you don't want to have weird pictures or posters or other images behind you that are distracting from the picture right. itself. You know, for when you're thinking about your profile photo, you really want to make sure that you're the center of attention. So you want to make sure that the a, a nice landscape or a plain background is always best. But you don't want anything too distracting because it can transform transform the image itself and it could be really distracting for somebody to really see who you and are. And sometimes you as the person in the picture don't see what's going on in the background exactly. and then you look and go, oh, look at that, that's interesting. Right. Exactly. It was taken at the bar I was at. Exactly. Yeah. Not that I've done or that. Or somebody already. doing something behind you that you didn't yeah, know. So. <laughs> uh, you say no group or animal photos. No, no, and so the caveat for this, if you work with pets, if you work with animals, if you're a family photographer or something of that nature, then of course that's okay to do right. that in your profile photo. But you, you don't need to, the idea of that is for people to see and get to know who you are. So as much as we love our spouse, you know, just have you in the picture. Right. As much as you may love your kiddos and your pets and your animals, just have you in the picture because, you know, the windows are the eyes to the soul and that's really what the focus needs to be is on you. So you don't want any of these distracting images because even if it's on the personal Facebook page, you know, if you don't have a professional one, people are looking at to get some information about who you are. So right. it really just needs to be you. You also say don't take any selfies in the car, restaurant, or bar. Right. Particularly in a particularly in a bar, there you know with you know you know, go, you know chocolate a glass of wine, yeah, or, yeah, or, or things of that nature. And in the car, the lighting is not that well, so it's on the fly. You just want to be thoughtful and mindful about the image. Take some time, take some energy to just take. You can take a selfie, but just make sure you're taking it in a space that's really going to put the focus on you and not all of the distractions in the background or in the car or the restaurant, which the lighting may be bad or the or the, the focus may be out off shot. So if you do something outside in a neutral background around with the lighting is best, it'll really be a great shot. I know it's on Facebook a lot that people will post, you know, their profile picture will be like 10 or 20 years old sometimes. Yes, and that's the other thing. You want to keep it up I to mean, date. mind you, I'd like to go back too. Right, exactly. <laughs> we all would. We all would. But your picture should be no more than a year old. Right. And if you, because a lot of times we change our hair, right? We yeah. may cut our hair. We may um, change the, the color or attire that we're wearing. And so when people are trying to find you, whether they're future employers or whether they're potential clients, if you look one way on on, on your digital image and you show up another, right. then that's going to cause some dissonance and distrust and really should, is this a person somebody I can trust? Right. Because you're not being honest and you're not being authentic in how you're showing up in that space. Absolutely. Yeah. And look at the camera. Yes, look at the camera, right? The eyes are the window to the soul. So you want to make sure that you actually are not looking down or looking away or have your eyes closed or wearing sunglasses or anything that's going to really distract from people to be able to really look at you and take you in fully. And uh, this is a real big one, but it's keeping your personal life private. Yes, yes. Oh, you you know, that? I see yeah. that a lot that, you know, there's really no such thing as a private or, or, or pri yeah, a private Facebook page or a private social media page because everyone will go there to figure out who you are, right. whether it's an employer or, like I said, a potential client. So if you really want to share things personal, if you're going through things personally and you really want that help and support from your real friends who are on Facebook, then create a group and invite people into the group and then share in that space. Oh, good. But Ideas. really allow your your page to be something that is really communicating a message and a brand that represents who you are.
are and so, what you want to put out there in the world. So you should definitely use the private settings. Use the private settings, right? You, you know, we all have those times where someone's tagging you in a picture in a, maybe a not so favorable oh, light. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, you would like right. bikini, right? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You would either something unflattering that you're wearing or in those yeah. bikini shots or, you know. I ask for approval before posting. Exactly. And so that's exactly what you want to do. You want to set those privacy settings to make sure that audiences that you don't want to see what you're posting right. don't and that people who are tagging you randomly that you actually approve. Yeah. And if you really need to set a privacy setting where you don't want certain people to see what you're posting, you may want to think twice about posting it to begin with. Sure. So, uh, yeah, be careful about what you post. You also say yes. make sure you wear your best colors. Yes, wear your best colors. Wear colors that make you feel amazing. Sure. So black is a color that a lot of people go to because they think it's slimming mm -hmm. and they're either mysterious, but it doesn't project anything. There's no energy in the color black. So wearing something that's either close to your own color is something that makes you feel engaging and, and um, happy in will be something that will be reflected through that image online. And, and wear a bit of makeup, too. Right? And wear a bit of makeup because the camera's not friendly, right? right. <laughs> and it tends to show everything. Yeah. So it's where HD. we... Yes, exactly. So where we may look in the mirror and it thinks we think we look fine, the camera will show any shadows of bags right. or, you know, any discoloration in your skin. So it, you don't have to go to get a glamour shot or go full out on your makeup, but a little foundation, a little mascara, and putting something on your lips will go a long way. And style your hair normally. And style don't your do something hair, yes. completely different just don't, for the right. picture. Exactly. Don't, you know, I see that a lot of times too. People do those glamour shots just for the image, but right. again, when they show up, there's a disconnect because that's not really representing who they are. Right. And the key is to be authentic in that space so people really can have a sense of you and have a sense of getting to know you. So if you're going to change things up, make sure the image reflects who you are in the digital space. Totally makes sense. Yes. Carol, thank yes. you so much. The book again is titled Your Clothes Speak, Carol Parker Walsh. Thank you. Always good to see you. you too.